Hey everyone, it's Ivan with kitbadger.com here to bring you a gear review. And today we're talking about these two guys, the Solar Helix and the Solar Puff, which are packable lanterns. I ended up finding these guys on a Kickstarter. I ended up backing their campaign. The company set out to create some sort of accessible light for third world countries, whether it be places that usually don't have internal light, so they end up using like burning like oil lamps in a stuff that ends up giving off smoke and not stuff you wanna burn inside your little hut in the middle of wherever you are. And then also the other issue being lamps or lanterns that you could take into a place where, so you had some massive devastation, whether it be a hurricane, a tsunami, anything like that, disaster relief lighting. And they came up with these two designs, the solar helix and the solar puff. Solar Puff and the Solar Helix share a lot of the same features. Both of them have a photovolactic panel on top with this one button in the center of it. On the back of the panel, this being the Solar Helix, it twists out. It's made of a TPU thermoplastic. And while both are water resistant, they shouldn't be submerged. On the back of this solar panel, you have an array of 10 LEDs spaced out. This button goes through three settings. The first setting being 60 lumens, second setting 90 lumens, let me get it here, there we go. And then the third setting is actually a strobe should you need to use it for some type of SOS. The solar cell will charge up in a matter of, I believe, eight hours for a full charge in the sun. Uh, five hours will bring it to about 80%. With a full charge, you're looking at anywhere from eight to 12 hours of light out of this. And obviously with 80% battery, about 80% of that. Charges pretty quick though. And both of them feature a handle as well for clipping onto, hanging from your tent, cabin, house, wherever it may be. Both the Solar Puff and the Solar Helix, while they pack flat, they stretch out to approximately a four, four and a quarter inch cube. This one you can see it's this clear plasticky material and it has a webbing of, I believe, fiberglass going through it, give it support and structure. One of the other things with both of these is they weigh approximately two and a half to three ounces. I believe the Solar Helix, three ounces, Solar Puff, 2.6 ounces. Well, these were designed for third world countries and disaster relief. They're really incredible for backpacking, whether it be illuminating your tent, staying in maybe a rustic cabin, or since I have next to me a old silver mine, we'll go ahead and pop these guys out, turn them on and uh, take them in the mine and show you kind of a little bit of their illumination. With the design in mind, they're basically created to illuminate a 100 square foot room. So think about like a 10 foot by 10 foot room. Obviously, with that in mind, they actually do a really good job in a smaller space, such as like a tent or something along those lines. So here we are in this mine shaft. Let's get in the higher setting. Solar helix, or I'm sorry, solar puff. Here's the solar helix. And here are these two guys. They both feature different straps, i.e. this one on the bottom, on the opposite side of the solar cell, and this one is on top over the solar cell. So depending on how you potentially want to hang these, whether the LEDs are pointing down or they're sitting and the LEDs are pointing up, just kind of two different variations between these two models. Both of them will maintain their weight. So if you stand this up like this and this conversely like this, they're not going to collapse under their own weight. If you just want to set them on a table, illuminate something you're doing where they're cooking, anything like that and they're really handy. Nice and light, pack flat, no reason not to have them in your pack if you're going backpacking, something like that. The one thing that I do enjoy too about them is you just pop them out. There's some of these lights that are on the market that uh, are inflatable, you blow them up. One of the issues being that they were trying to get away from when they designed these was you don't want to blow them up, i.e. in disaster situations when you have cholera, all sorts of other things going around to further complicate whatever natural disaster there was, earthquake, flood, something like that. 
The last thing you want to do is have disease transmission through something that's getting people's mouths put on. So these, you just pull them out, you're done, turn them on, you're good to go. Really cool little units. You can pick these guys up off of Amazon, about $30 and $23 respectively, I believe, for the Solar Helix. I might have got them reversed, I don't remember offhand. When I backed them on Kickstarter, I think I got about 10 of them, like five and five, something like that. And I've since gave them out to uh, different friends for backpacking or just uh, like one of my, one of my good friends actually does a lot of car camping like in a uh, cab over camper on his truck and yeah, they do a great job. Or if you happen to live in a third world country and don't have electricity, this will also help you out there. As always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.